I'm very excited that I get to listen to even more Hasbun Hotel songs. But you know what's sad, what's got me all depressed, is these are the last ones that are out. There's no more, I guess until, you know, season two at least. But after this video, I've listened to all the songs. There are still the episodes though, so rest assured, your boy is gonna be watching those. But you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take any negative feelings, I have any sadness, and I'm gonna put that to the side. Because what matters is songs. All right, and they're gonna be good songs, and they're gonna be fun songs, and I'm gonna be happy. Before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear fully uncensored over there if that's your thing. There's a link in the description below. There's also a link to my Discord server, which you should join. I would love to see you there. Oh, by the way, if you see me developing a sweat sheen as this video goes on, that's because it's freaking hot here in Australia. Every time I don't address it, I get comments being like, are you okay? Are you melting? What's happening to your skin? Do you have a fever? I'm fine. It's just hot. So the first song is called Ready For This. I see, can you see what I see? Little, little Alistair, yeah? You gonna sing for us, buddy? Oh God, his staff is an eye. Don't like that. Have you ever wanted something that was so clear in your mind that you could taste it? You mean like human flesh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess she forgets that her crowd is like demons. But so clear in your mind you could taste Taste it. Don't people normally say see it? <laughs> uh, sort of. It's a feeling Is it like sort of? rumbling in your gut that you could finally be faced with a billion needy faces. I guess uh, what I mean to say. Wait, she's saying a billion needy faces. Is she talking about the crowd? Which, by the way, Jesus Christ, that's terrifying. Is she singing about like how she feels in regards to her, her responsibility to save people? For the first time in my life, I might have to oh, I love that piano. Ready to be the one who's leading from the front. Oh, okay. I'm following now. It is about her responsibility. I think she's just used to being maybe the plan person and not the one that's like leading and actually doing the thing. Gotta come into my own. Gotta come into my throne. Gotta take charge and defend my only home. I'm so curious what the response is gonna be like because I just can't tell if this is gonna be some nice big inspiring thing because right now I'm like yeah get it girl I'm so inspired but I kind of feel like the crowd's gonna be like you suck <laughs> now I need to be ready for this I mean you're also allowed to feel unsteady still Ever felt like you're willing to die Whoa. to save the people of your city damn use my teeth to rip flesh apart. what the girl is just obsessed with flesh. No, that's killing. Not the, the other, the, that's the other thing. But damn if Charlie isn't just like stepping up. I mean, that's honestly like what the entire show is. It is Charlie stepping up and kind of like saving things, but still. Hearing her talk so passionately about helping people, especially when like some of those people clearly don't really care that much about her, is it's it's really nice. It's inspiring, okay? Cause right now we need a leader and it seems to me that destiny has picked me to be that- It's like just falling on you. Oh. <laughs> I, that got so kitschy and happy. But also, I thought the crowd would respond there. They didn't even say anything. She's like, who's with me? No one said anything. She didn't even really give him a chance to. She just started with her, like, singing sales pitch. Join up now if you like travel. Come on, boys, hop in the saddle. It's like war recruitment. Not to mention the camaraderie. Yes, sir, Oh, are people, like, actually enjoying it? Based on all the angels you can eat. <laughs> well, like, Charlie seemed, like, put off by that, but isn't that, like, kind of their aim? I mean, not eat the angels, I guess, but aren't they at war with them? <laughs> Alright, well, she's got them on the hook! Yeah! <laughs> so she's now just, like, Hell's leader. Eager to feed on the angels? <laughs> the heavenly feast because they're gonna eat angels. I mean, I, I, I say that like it's a bad thing. I mean, I guess I feel like eating anyway. I, I, angels are clearly evil. I shouldn't feel that bad. This is so bouncy. <laughs> they are so obsessed with eating. Wait, wait, why, 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 why that, why, why that person got blood all over their mouth? Have they been eating people? And I mean, I guess Charlie's like, it's better than people not being interested in helping, but maybe could they be a little less bloodthirsty and or flesh hungry? Well, that's a little violent. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you like starting a war? They just seem a little murdery right now. Don't worry, 
I mean, I mean, hasn't this plot kind of been leading to like a, a fight? Like, it's probably good that they're ready to fight, right? We're super duper grateful to have you so <laughs> this is so silly. I love it. I mean, maybe Charlie's just like, look, you know, it's fine if you want to eat angels, but can you talk about just one other thing once, please? For the first time in my life, Ooh. maybe I'll we'll slow down. For this. I can be the marshal leading the parade. Wow, I love her. Why over the course of these has been videos have I just started adoring her? I mean, obviously she's the main character I meant to, but she's just she's so good. Oh my god. And her her singing is insane. <laughs> oh, she's so cute! Oh, are they actually being supportive? That's really nice. <laughs> I don't know what their dynamic is, but I actually love them. Why are they so cute in the way they're dancing together? I don't, I don't trust that face. He's saying she's filled with potential. Look at that. Man looks evil. She's filled with potential that I could guide. <sighs> You'll be on the winning side. Uh, so do they maybe not actually care about the cause? They just want to win? I, I I can't tell what that is. He's like, she's filled with potential. <laughs> oh. I love this like halftime sound. God, her voice is amazing. Well, hey, they didn't say we're ready to eat and we're gonna feast on their flesh and slurp their blood through bendy straws. They're just like, it's time to go to war, you know? Although straw does rhyme with war, so I wonder if the next line is, you know, slurp up their blood through a curly straw. Okay, no, they just said this. <laughs> oh. It's not as though I expected anything different, but God damn, Hasbun Hotel continues its streak of just like making music that's incredible and that I love and that impresses me in every facet. That's the great thing about doing these videos is I'm not even just like, oh, I have to sit here and film a video. I'm like, I'm excited to turn on the camera and listen to these songs. And I got to tell you, I am so keen and so curious for the next one because it's called Welcome to Heaven. It's also very short and I don't know who this guy is, but he looks like too good. You know what I mean? Like, oh, he's a perfect little angel guy. Like, I bet he's evil. Dearly beloved, it is my pleasure to say unto thee, <laughs> welcome to heaven. It's, I thought he was about to be like, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. <laughs> it's like he's about to have a marriage. Oh, the virtuous reside 24-7. Oh, I... people are happy that they died. <laughs> People are happy that they died. I mean, fair, fair enough if you live in some like peaceful, wonderful heaven utopia. Are they just getting like a tour here or are they being accepted into heaven? We got no worries, got no burglaries, no strife. He's so corny. Where is it gonna go? Why does this feel like a misdirect? Okay, it's kind of a bop though. Oh, oh my god, his slide! That was insane! Also, everyone was hot. This is, this is so strange. Gosh, I'm so oh, it's her. Oh, this must be before, like, the court thing. The, where, where, the, the, the song where, what's it called? Where they keep saying, Sarah, <laughs> you didn't know, or something like that. Oh. So it is like a tour. Is a happy day. <laughs> to I still don't fully trust him. I don't... <laughs> the panting. Maybe it's just because I've seen some other things from songs and I know that like heaven or at least the system isn't all it's cracked up to be, but I don't trust him. I'm not even sure I've seen him in any of these songs. I don't know who he is. But while the man definitely has an incredible set of pipes, I just feel like... Mm -mm. Something, something's up. The next song is called The Show Must Go On, and I'm pretty sure this is like right at the end. It might even be like a closing song, I'm not sure. But I will say, I am expecting something gorgeous. Oh, is this like after the battle? Oh, there they are. Oh, it's a creature. Why did I think that that was just like a whole ass person? It's like a cat with one eye. There's more animals? 
He did it for us. He did it for us. That is this like what? I'm uncertain where this is that's been destroyed. Is it heaven or hell? Maybe. The ultimate sacrifice. He gave me his trust. God damn! Who died? I'm scared. And look how we paid. Well, at least Angel Dust and 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 Charlie's dad, Lucifer. I think pe people told me that it was Lucifer. This bloodshed could have been avoided if I convinced could... heaven to work together. Hey, no, look, I think. You know, I understand why she would feel that way, but like, this bloodshed could have been avoided if I could convince heaven to work here. No, you know how it could have been avoided? Is if heaven didn't just like, exterminate people's souls. Yeah, you weren't able to convince them to work together, but that's because they're f***ing crazy. You know, it's not your fault that they're like, slaughtering people. I took a hotel oh, and I it smashed, that's so sad. I could have done better. God. Oh my god, like, I know, I keep, I keep hearing her sing, this shouldn't be a surprise, and yet, good god damn, what in the hell is that voice and the delivery, literally Disney princess, li genuinely, just, Dis she sounds like a goddamn Disney princess. Come on, little lady, why the frown? Ah, his voice is amazing too. Years. Oh. You're the first one to change this time. Y'all, 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 just please, like, send help, because I just feel like I'm going to end up saying the same things over and over again, fawning over people's voices. Okay, Matthew, get over it. You can do this. Now I know He's so sweet and encouraging. Your story has just begun. You can't quit now. Hell, you owe it. <laughs> There's still damage to be undone. Oh, um. Lord. There's just something about the way he flows on his notes that just is so fantastic. You've changed my mind. You've touched their hearts. Found the good and souls gone bad. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. She's done so much. And it's like, oh, just because you couldn't convince the insane overlords to stop exterminating people and work with you, it doesn't mean that you've done nothing. In fact, you've still revolutionized the system and saved a whole hell of a lot of souls. They just wrecked. The crowd is gone, but by God, Charlie, the show, it must go oh. on. Oh, so I kind of thought that maybe like the show must go on was something to do with, oh, pick yourself up and carry on. You know, you've always got to keep trying, but I feel like actually what it's talking about is more, all of this can be rebuilt and we can fix it and do it in the right way. We can do this. We can build it. Yeah, I was right. And they're so encouraging. I love it. We can fill it. With more sinners than you can dream It starts with you, you know it's true Ah, uh, what the hell? This is like uh, the sweetest song Oh man, Has Been Hotel has such a variety of different things Like think of just the stuff that we've listened to And now we're getting this lovely encouraging thing That I guess is sort of summing up the season Where everyone is saying No, you've actually done really well And we're all here for you And we're all gonna rebuild it in the way that you dreamt No, it's true, fulfill your destiny Uh, this is f***ing adorable as Why? Why are they rebuilding a hotel specifically? <laughs> this is like the most preppy, upbeat thing from all of Hasbun Hotels so far. Are they rebuilding like the entirety of hell? After the battle, <laughs> masterless cattle, overlords hanging by. Wait, this a bit of bravado, maybe tomorrow does it will be a top the heap. Am I am I crazy? I feel like this sounds like another song from Hasbun. Is it like a reprise of anything? I was just looking and I couldn't see anything, so maybe I'm crazy, but it just it just sounds like they're referencing another song. Well the rest of hell's pissing, Alistair's missing, Blind with his Alistair's missing? What happened with him? Please room for you and me. No, I don't want these guys to... Oh god, these guys should not be, have any power, please, after what they do to Angel Dust. Oh. He's around. I barely escaped being killed by a hair. 
Did he like betray or like backstab or something? Great Alistair Altruist died for his friends. Sorry to disappoint. What? Is not where this oh, 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 that's who they were talking about before, saying, oh, he died in self-sacrifice, but he faked it. Okay. I'm hungry for freedom like never before. I knew that he was like malicious. He had something going on. Once I figure out how to unclip my wings, guess who is Un me pulling all the strings? Unclip my wings? Does he mean that metaphorically or is Alistair an angel? Oh, he's back? What? I'm just confused now, but that's okay. I can be confused. <laughs> I, just, I just realized that Charlie starts like, oh my god, this guy. That's valid, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, they're harmonies. <laughs> oh, holy God. Good, sweet baby Jesus. That makes sense that they were referencing that melody. Maybe that was what I was thinking, but also all of them singing all together in unison, in harmony was gorgeous and the way they slid up and rose together too i'm i'm dying over here you know and honestly i actually feel like i might perish even more because the last thing i'm gonna listen to or watch i guess actually is the actual music video for the song poison now i listened to poison in the first of these videos on the new husband hotel songs but i only saw like a lyric video and people were like no you're missing out you've got to watch the music video i know though that there is some intense content on here so i will just put out a blanket trigger warning i know that there's like at least things like sexual abuse and i'm assuming there's like domestic violence and things like that as well so i just figured it was worth mentioning <laughs> Uh, man's a goddamn skeef. I don't like it. And action. Uh, making him perform. Oh, perform the song? The song is still just so incredible. It's honestly just a freaking banger that I, I want on my playlist. <laughs> oh, God. It's... Oh, he's filming it? Oh my lord. What is... I don't, I don't know his name, but I just feel like everything he does is, is so messed up to Angel. It did just occur to me that I don't exactly know why Angel Dust works for him. Although, I feel like... Oh, in Loser Baby, he says he sold his soul to... So did he sell his soul to this guy? Oh my god. Oh, I feel like he clearly doesn't want to do this. Oh god, I can only blame my- Jesus Christ, that's such a sad, intense sentiment now that I realize the context. Oh lord. Although he was on a chain and like moving towards him and all that kind of stuff, I feel like it's gonna turn and there's gonna be some not so, you know, uh, I feel so bad for Angel. Voice. Oh my lord. <laughs> I, oh, why does he like leer over him like? The fact that he's just like saying essentially that he's saying what he wants to hear, that he's what performing for this guy. The implication is that he doesn't want to do any of this. Oh my god. The blindfold too. It's like. I disassociate and he just... Jesus fucking Christ. That's how he copes with this trauma? <sighs> what the... My lord, this... The... It's on the screen! What? Oh, the guy... Whoever it is that's doing this to him... Fuck that guy! I hope in all of the that happened he died no he didn't die actually because we saw him his fit is incredible though oh god they're beating oh my lord oh god that was clearly a um 
forced. You fuck me. Oh god, he's screaming there. Oh no. The way he like was enjoying like performing and the attention or whatever, and then just the fear that came onto his face when that dude walked in a frame. Oh, he locked the door to- oh, wow. Well, all right. I can see why you wanted me to watch the video alongside that because there's, yeah, there's some, some, some pretty critical context. Good Lord. Like I knew that Angel's backstory wasn't some nice, happy thing, but that is particularly intense and messed and I don't even... I feel like my sentiment towards Angel Dust this entire time has been like, protect him at all costs. Because I really like him. I like the character and let's face it, he's a cutie. And now after watching that, my thoughts are not just protect him at all costs. My thoughts are kill that guy. <laughs> I, I, oh, I hope he died. I hope at some point in this show, Angel Dust gets to kill him or exterminate his soul or whatever. I don't know. It's just, it feels like it's gotta happen. At any rate though, all of the songs Incredible, so good, and it feels weird, but now I think I can actually say, yeah, loved all of the Hasbun Hotel songs. All of them, okay? <laughs> Literally, the only thing I have left to say is that I am so gonna watch this show. You can look forward to that because I just, I need everything in context, and that, oh, it's so exciting. Th this is, this is hooked me, all right? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here, and I'll see you next time.